Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends, get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning and welcome to today's morning devotion. We praise God who by his mercies we are not consumed. Please let's commit to today's morning devotion into the hand of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the giver and sustainer of life, we bow down before you. Lord, as we study at your feet, may your spirit live, may your spirit have its way, and may our eyes of understanding be enlightened in Jesus' name. Amen. Following the daily devotional guide of Church of Nigeria, the Daily Fountain, Saturday, 4th, December 2021, the topic we have today says a word for the powerful and influential, a word to the powerful and influential. We are taking our text from Micah chapter 2. Reading from verse 1 to 11. I'm using New Living Translation. What sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night, thinking up evil plans? You rise at dawn and hurry to carry them out simply because you have the power to do so. When you want a piece of land, you find a way to seize it. When you want someone's house, you take it by fraud and violence. You cheat a man of his property, stealing his family's inheritance. But this is what the law says. I will reward your evil with evil. You won't be able to pull your neck out of the nose. You will no longer walk around proudly, for it will be a terrible time. In that day, your enemies will make fun of you by singing this song of despair about you. We are finished, completely ruined. God has conf confiscated our land, taken it from us. He has given our fields to those who betrayed us. Others will set your boundaries then, and the lost people will have no say in how the land is divided. Don't say such things. The people respond. Don't prophesy like that. Such disasters will never come our way. Should you talk that way, O family of Israel? Will the Lord's Spirit have patience with such behavior? If you will do what is right, you will find my words comforting. Yet, to this very hour, my people rise against me like an enemy. You steal the shirt right off the backs of those who trusted you, making them as rag as men returning from battle. You have evicted women from their pleasant homes and forever strip their children of all that God will give them. Up, be gone, 
This is no longer your land and home, for you have filled it with sin and ruined it completely. Suppose a prophet full of lies will say to you, I will preach to you the joys of wine and alcohol. That's just the kind of prophet you will like. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Looking at our topic this morning, a word to the powerful and influential. One way asks, who is a powerful person? A powerful person can be said to be one that has ability or is able to control people or influence people and events. Somebody that has the ability or is able to control or influence people or events. Power, they say, reveals a person's true character. Some people have gone ahead to abuse power and influence. They trample on people's rights. They frustrate people. They, they oppress people simply because of the privilege of power or, and influence. But hear me this morning. God say, I have a word to the powerful and influential. In our, looking at our commentary here, he said, however, when we are entrusted with power, it is not for us to use it to hurt other people, but to help those who cannot help themselves. But the reverse is the case in our society. People hit one another like that because they are better positioned. They don't mind whose ox is God. And you see things, maltreatment here and there. Many politicians seek for positions in order to loot funds that belong to all. Some lecturers use their positions to deny students their well-earned marks until something is given in return. Market people use their businesses to overcharge and defraud unsuspected customers. One will begin to say, with all this happening in our society, the powerful and influential. I want you to hear what the Lord says. In that verse 1, it says, What sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night, thinking out evil plans? You rise at dawn and hurry to carry them out simply because you have the power to do so. You may say, oh, am I powerful? Am I influential? But I want to tell you that power and influence can be exercised at different levels. As a father, you have power, you have influence, because you can influence anything in your family, you can control people under you. 
You are powerful. You are influential. In that your family. Among your king's men. You can be powerful. Among your friends. You can be powerful and influential. Even in that your office. You can be powerful and influential. But what the Lord is saying. Is what, do, what are you thinking? What is in your mind? What do you want to carry out? Is this something good? Or you want to carry out evil? It says, like today is 4th December. You have woken up. We thank God. But what do you want to carry out? What exactly do you want to do with that your power and influence? We should learn a lesson from Joseph in Genesis chapter 41, verse 41. Dear Pharaoh told Joseph, I hand over the land of Egypt to you. Whatever you want to do, whatever you say should be done, that should be done in Egypt. Joseph became the second in command. He has power. He was powerful and influential. But what did Joseph do with his power and influence? A lesson to learn from him. As we look at Genesis chapter 50, Genesis chapter 50, I will read from verse 18. Genesis 50 from verse 18. It says, Then his brothers came and threw themselves down before Joseph. Look, we are your slaves, they said. But Joseph replied, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of me. Am I God that I can punish you? You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of of many people. Note that. Joseph understood why God has raised him to that position. Why he is there in that position. He said this is the reason that I could save the lives of many people. Do you understand why the Lord have put you in that office? Do you understand why the Lord has suddenly elevated you, exalted you to a high position? Do you understand why you are there in that school? Do you understand why you are there as Principal, head miss. Do you understand why you are there in government in a time like this? Joseph said, He brought me to this position. So I could save the lives of many people. 
Ah, may the Lord grant us understanding that we will use our good offices, good position that the Lord has privileged us to be, to be and save lives and help people and put joy and smiles on faces. Let me point out one more thing in Esther chapter 4. Esther chapter 4 from verse 13. Esther chapter 4 from verse 13. It says, Mordecai sent this reply to Esther. Don't think for a moment that because you are in the palace, you will escape when all other Jews are killed. If you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and the relief for the Jews will arise from some other place. Hallelujah. But you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. Who knows you are made queen for just such a time as this. Who knows that you are lifted up and positioned, well placed, well blessed for a time like this. Who knows that you are in government. You are a ruler, traditional ruler. Or you're occupying offices here and there, position, good positions. Who knows if you are there just for a time like this? Well, the Lord will help us so that we will actually use our good offices and position to bless people. There is A judgment coming upon those that don't that fail to use their position rightly. If you look at Micah, that place we read, Micah chapter 2, looking at verse 3, it says, but this is what the Lord says. That is the word for the powerful and the inf those that are powerful and influential that are not using their positions to bless people. Okay? But this is what the Lord says. I will reward your evil with evil. You won't be able to pull your neck out of the nose. You will no longer walk around proudly for it will be a terrible time. May this never come upon you. The Lord demands repentance. The Lord requires a, a change of heart. So that we will do and perform rightly before him. Well, when we do when we bless people, when we deal righteously, when we deal righteously with people around us, we attract God's blessing. In that verse 7 of Micah 2, it says, Should you talk that way? O family of Israel, will the Lord's Spirit have 
patient with such behavior, if you will do what is right, you will find my words comforting. That is God for you. The Lord always delight in those who pursue righteousness and justice. So these days, I beg you, I pray thee, let us determine to deal righteously with all people, no matter who they are or their status. For the judgment of God cometh upon those that are powerful and influential that are using their position to maltreat people. You may, the spirit may have spoken to you in one way or the other. And you may wish to say one or two things to God this morning. As the Lord has spoken to us, it calls for repentance where we are doing it wrong. It calls for grace to continue if we are doing it right. My prayer is that the Lord will help us to deal right, righteously with all people. Now we can. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. Your word is true. The entrance of your word give her light and make her the simple wise. May your word bring forth the desired result in us, even this morning. Help us and teach us to deal righteously with all people always, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.